guys, with um, Danky, I can't even say it, fever, basically, you completely lose your appetite. Um, you start shivering, temperatures like sky high. And, yeah, you just feel, oh, can't explain it. But anyway, it had to be bad for me to go to the hospital anyway. Um, I didn't eat anything for nearly two days. So, and then the hospital food was, it was okay, but I'm a bit funny with my food, so this is better. This is like a fresh carrot juice and I've had some boiled eggs with some salad and fresh fruit. So much better here. Um, but yeah, uh, I feel like I can function today, which is good. So I am glad I went into hospital because being on the drip for 24 hours, having all the electrolytes and I think they put some um, glucose as well in because obviously I wasn't eating and and they also injected like I think it was a form of steroid that helped fight the fever and the infection um, there is actually no cure and uh, depending on your state of fitness and body you can take up to seven days so some people can suffer for almost seven days with, with the fever um, I had it for two, so 48 hours. Still feeling a little bit dizzy today, so when I'm like walking, I'm a bit like, woo, like I'm like I'm drunk or something. But I think that's just from all the maybe the drugs, the I shouldn't call it drugs, the meds. Um, but no, I think I am going to be okay today. I feel like I'm functioning. Going to be able to fly home. Oh, guys, as well, if you ever extend your holiday when you're on holiday, make sure you inform your insurance because I mean the last thing you think is you're gonna get ill or something's gonna happen but yeah you, you never know so as I say I would take precautions and definitely inform your insurance that you've actually extended your holiday and yeah because I didn't so it's not cheap when you're abroad guys <laughs> it's really not and it's a stinner whether the money's there or not paying it out for 24 hours in a hospital when you're used to good old NHS <laughs> yeah I guess I've got a dog so I've used the vet pills but I've got pet insurance so. but I didn't have one so I had a stinner there as well but you live and you learn that's what I mean so I'm gonna come straight back the amount I travel now and I'm going to get a annual insurance, annual travel insurance, yes. So this will not happen again. But hoping to experience a good bit of weather today. But at the moment it's been like, it's been like this. We'll get this this morning and before you know it, it's like peeing down all day. So. We'll see, we'll see, but looking good so far. Also, guys, gotta get this in. This hotel I'm staying at, I've never met such graceful, caring people. Like when I first got ill, because I'm, I'm stubborn, so I was like, oh no, I've just, I thought it was because of the body wrap I had and the treatment, I had like a massage and a body wrap. But, I thought it was because of that, I thought maybe it's all the toxins leaving my body um, because I don't rest and I was like oh no I think it's just that so then I laid and I was tossing and turning and moaning and groaning because I'm a baby when I'm ill, I'm a big baby and um, yeah my mother would tell you that <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm like moaning groaning I mean the pain has just got worse and worse like I started to get stomach cramps feel sick um, couldn't open my eyes 
and I couldn't even the thought of getting out of bed to even open the door when the staff came was like just no go um, and then it, they were coming in wiping me down with like wet cloths they were aloe vera in me because I was so hot so they were rubbing aloe vera all into me they were bringing me like green tea and at like every half an hour they were bringing pots of green tea um, to obviously bring my temperature down you have hot drinks don't you so um, yeah and they kept telling me to eat but the thought of eating was just a no go so no food uh, and then it got to the point where I had to call them and just sat into the hospital because I, I couldn't open my eyes my head was like pounding and they had to carry me two of them bless them because I'm a dead weight two of them on each arm had to carry me to the car and they arranged transport to the airport and back which was which was unreal and I've just never met such graceful caring people like it was really really humbling and yeah it was it was amazing so and I also got really good care in the hospital as well but of course they're gonna with the with what they charge so um yeah that's good all in all I'm just glad that I can enjoy my last few days I haven't got to extend again because I am ready to get home for Christmas and just see my doggy I miss Reggie um, and of course my family but I miss Reggie <laughs> uh, yeah so looking forward to being back also I forgot to tag the hotel but these juices are freshly made right in front of you at the buffet crazy crazy all in you can order breakfast as well so you've got like choices of egg white omelets boiled eggs it's really really clean and healthy here if you like good clean food which i do um yeah although last night my appetite came back and i i thought you know i need some good calories so i ordered sticky mango rice and tiramisu and it was beautiful and I ate Pringles little pot Pringles in the hotel and the toe brine it's good calories right 